case exciting lesson, we are going to talk about JavaScript numbers. Uh, we played around with them a little bit, but let's uh, let's dive a little further in. We'll also do uh, some arithmetic. So I hope you have your fourth grade elementary math uh, memorized, because that's what we're going to be using. So numbers. Well, you saw up above that we used uh, an age, right? So var age equals 23. Now, I may have mentioned the word integer, right? An, an integer is a common number that you'll use in various programming languages, which typically means there's no decimal points, more or less. Um, but in JavaScript, uh, technically, technically, all numbers are floating point numbers with 64-bit uh, precision. And so it just means is you can have long numbers with decimals. And so it doesn't matter if we have 23 or 23.5. Okay, they're all stored in the same type of way. Okay, uh, JavaScript's really easy like that. So you'll hear the word integer, which typically means no decimals, but in JavaScript, everything's just a floating point number with a decimal, uh, whether it's shown or not. So we've used age, and notice how on numbers, we don't put uh, quotations around them. Okay, they're just stored in there as literals. Uh, strings are handled differently than uh, numbers as they are uh, stored in memory. Okay, and uh, we handle them differently here in the language. So var age equals 23. And uh, basically, once we store a number in here, it knows, the variable knows that it's, um, uh, it's a number. Okay, and what can you do with numbers? What can we do? Well, we can do math operations. And, of course, math is used in pretty much most uh, functional web apps, from whether it's a banking app or... Uh, account balances and then you make a withdrawal um, to, you know, just simple calculator apps on your phone. Okay, Every, you know, numbers are everywhere in the programs that you're going to be working with. So let's uh, just create a variable called sum and sum equals 10 plus 15. Okay, and if we console.log the sum, let's go find our browser over here and refresh 25. Okay. Pretty cool. So it prints 25. So it does math, okay? And math, uh, or rather uh, addition, addition is used um, using the plus sign arithmetic operator. These are called operators, okay? This is the um, assignment operator. This is the addition operator, okay? And we can do other ones of uh, our subtraction, right? So we're going to say 15 minus 10, okay? And if we print that here, then we go back to our browser and refresh the page five. Okay, as you can see, it's clearly working. Math operations are clearly working and we use the uh, subtraction symbol here, a subtraction operator. Uh, we can do multiplication, you know, 10 times three and we'll print that one up as well. Okay, 30, so it's definitely working. And we can do division as well. Let's say, um, 9 divided by 3. We use the uh, uh, forward slash for that. Div in the printout here. Okay, and 3, which is right. Now, this is interesting. What if we need a remainder? So what if I said, you know, 10 divided by 3? So that goes in 3 times with a remainder of 1. Let's go ahead and print out div now and see what happens. It was 3 before, and now it is... 3.33333335, okay? It's not really super, super useful or helpful to us, okay? We, we kind of want to get the remainder. So what we can do is we can use the modulo operator. So we can say var mod equals 10. We we'll use the percent sign and then say 3. And then what we can do is let's say we can create a little message here, var uh, message equals, we can say, you know, 10... Let's just, we'll write it out. This is a string here, right? So 10 divided by 3 equals, um, let's say, 3 with a remainder of, and then we can, um, actually, you know what we should do? We should just use the actual, yeah, with a remainder of, we'll just print the modulo here, and then we'll say mod. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's refresh. Oh, we forgot to put the uh, message here in the uh, console.log. We didn't. I, I forgot, okay? Okay, thanks for pointing that out. Okay, so 10 divided by 3 equals 3 with the remainder of 1. Okay, so as you can see, uh, you, you also have a way of getting the remainder in a division operation. So we've talked about um, 
uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and then getting the remainder using the modulo operator, uh, which is this uh, percent sign here, okay? And uh, you can do all kinds of math operations, uh, and order of operations uh, is just the same as it is in algebra. It's no different. So I'm going to say var result equals, you know, 10 times 5 plus 3 subtracted by 4, okay? Let's just print that result here. First off, let's see what we would expect here. So 10 times 5 is 50. 50 plus 3 is 53. Minus 4 is, what, 49? So if I print the result, my math is right, 49. Okay, now let's say we do order of operations. Ooh, interesting. So we do these first, and then we do these second. See if we can give it different results by using the parentheses sign. So 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. And 10 times 4 is 40. So we went from 49... Let me save this here. Let's see if it changes now based on the order of operations. And it did. It's at 40 now. Okay, so just like in algebra, how you can use parentheses for order of operations, uh, similarly here in JavaScript or any other programming language, actually, these, these are almost identical here uh, in any programming language, um, order of operations are respected. Okay. And, of course, we can even do uh, negative numbers. So we could say, you know, minus 500. And if we print that now... Okay, we have negative 460, all right? So pretty cool. Let's take that off. Nobody likes a negative number. So that's not. there's not much more to numbers than that, which is really cool, okay? Um, we've just done all the major operations, and pretty much all the math that you need to do in your programming career, um, in websites, anything, will be based off of these numbers here. And you as a programmer just have to figure out better ways of working with the numbers and the operations, more efficient ways to get the results that you're looking for. But this is it. Like, even though you're a beginner, okay, these are the things you're going to be using for the rest of your life as a programmer. Uh, no different than someone who's been programming for 20 years. Uh, let's say a, a professional web developer has been doing it for 20 years, is using these things probably every day, just like you would be using them. So, uh, give yourselves a pat on the back. You're doing the things that the pros are doing, and uh, it's not that hard. Uh, and if uh, you need to refresh your fourth grade math, um, I'm just kidding. You don't need to do that. Just you, you, This is really easy to pick up. You just practice with it, and you'll, you'll get it. So I wish I could say more. This is, this is great. You know, Other programming languages, this is more difficult. So uh, you're lucky you're starting off with JavaScript. That's a easy, one of the easiest languages to get going with. And uh, let's call this video done. Mark Price here at devslopes.com. Numbers moving on and forward.